Okay, man, today has been a weird day. Um, anyway, so I was uploading that last video. Um, I just was flipping through the channels to see what was on, and I seen that Doug was on uh, one of the Nickelodeon channels. I don't even know what it is here. Teen Nick. I don't even, for whatever reason, I've never even seen that channel before. It must be new or something. But it had Doug on it, and I was like, man, I haven't seen Doug in years. I used to love that show. Anyway. <laughs> the first thing I hear on there is uh, Roger tells Skeeter something about Valentine. And then I, I figured it out that Ms., uh, Skeeter's real name is Mosquito Valentine. And the episode that was on was this episode right here, Doug's Fat Cat. So I started watching it with Doug's Fat Cat. But then they like they have two episodes in one episode or whatever, basically. So the next one is called... Doug and Patty P.I. because they're private investigators, but very interesting. Um, Doug and Patty P.I. P.I. like P.I. 3.14. And this whole episode is about um, the wheelbarrow race and someone steals the Valentine's wheelbarrow. And it's about the number 49. And I'll show you in a second. But P.I. is actually... So 49, I'll show you the prime numbers here. 49th prime number, 227. So 227, which is February 27th. But 22 divided by 7 is actually pi. So 49 is, this, I mean, it goes with pi. And then this episode is about pie. It's literally Doug and Patty Pie. It's also the twenty uh, seventh episode, which is twenty seven is a big number this year because it's you know twenty seven years ago was nineteen eighty eight, nineteen twenty seven, eighty eight years ago. So twenty seven is a big number with two thousand fifteen. I mean, it's just so weird that this is the episode that's on when I turn on the TV, like. For what reason? You know, it's not like I planned it. That's what drives me crazy. But anyway, not going to keep rambling about that. But, I mean, so, whatever. Let's uh, take a look at the episode. All right, well, I'm going to play some clips. Hopefully my microphone, you'll be able to hear it. It's probably going to be really low. Um, but it's on YouTube, so I should be able to play it and not get copyright strikes. So, anyway, let's take a look at this episode. Okay, well, I don't know if you've seen the 49 on the magazine there. Uh, I'll show it again in a minute. But he has to turn to page 103 for the solution. And so he's basically uh, doing a mystery magazine or whatever. But page 103, 103, 27th prime number. And what did I say about this episode? 27th episode. I mean, that's weird. Anyway, let's keep watching here. So, hey, is that WizKids number 49?
sorry I played such a long clip, but they mention, oh, those kids, 49, This even Mr. Dink comes in. Roger comes in and tells him the answer, and then Mr. Dink comes in and says, WizKids49, that's an easy one or whatever. So they're telling you that the 49 is easy to solve. So they find a glove or whatever, so they're trying to trace it down and do some investigation. And uh, they're going through trying to figure out who stole the wheelbarrow and who lost the glove or whatever. So they're basically like writing down all these things. But just listen to this here. So, there they show that the glove actually is, belongs to Mr. Valentine, Skeeter's dad, and they mention Valentine a whole bunch of times. Okay, I'm not even going to show the clip here, but, so they find out it's not Joe Valentine, so then they think that it's Mrs. Valentine, so they go and spy on her, and just to do some more research and clues or whatever, and they find, at the very end they find out it's not the Valentines, it's actually Roger. And then after it goes to Mrs. Valentine, they find Skeeter, and then they find out that it really wasn't Skeeter either, and so it's Skeeter Valentine. It's all about Valentine, and then the number 49 magazine got them to start searching for this. That's weird. And then it's, the solution is 103 or whatever, which is literally the uh, 27th prime number on the 27th episode. And after they figure out it's Roger, um, they actually show the, the 49 again. And then check out the all-seeing eye on uh, Mr. Dink's book here. He's like, oh, I didn't even get to use all this great stuff because Doug already solved it or whatever. And then he's holding this... I think it's a book or something, but it's got the all-seeing eye right on it. I mean, just just insane. Even better, I thought it was a piece of paper. It's actually a box. It's a cube. It's the Saturn cube with the all-seeing eye on it. Give me a break. I, what are the odds that I watch this tonight? I mean, I know I keep saying that, but this is just ridiculous. This is why I'm saying it follows me like crazy. Even more interesting to me is that, so Roger was actually the one who stole the wheelbarrow then. This whole episode is about 49, and Roger is literally the only character who is drawn green. And green adds up to 49. Okay, well anyway, um, I am going to go through and watch a couple more of these episodes. I just don't have time to fit it on this video. But I mean, this is only the 27th episode. Um... I want to probably watch like the 37th, the 45th, the 49th, um, I don't know what it all even goes up to here, but uh, this makes me really wonder now, um, is that episode, I mean, it's not even very long or whatever, but pretty ridiculous, I guess. Mm, let's see, the 49th is about Christmas, it's kind of weird, alright, but anyway, so let's see here. Um, right up here it says, Nickelodeon's Doug, 52 episodes, 4 seasons. Now that was the original, and it actually came back uh, in a later time. But anyway, 52 episodes, 1952 I talked about, Michael Jordan is 52 years old. Uh, but just read through here. It featured two 11-minute stories with a commercial break between. So, two 11-minute stories, which is 22. Sometimes they would do a 22-minute story with the first and second act. The show, uh, the very first episode was even on August 11th, 8 11 um, And then the original run ended on 1994. 94 is the mirror of 49. Then it restarted with Disney on 7-7. Seven, seven. 
I mean, well, nine seven. That's actually um septum is seven, so seven seven ninety six. Um, it has a hundred and seventeen episodes total. Hun- that is eleven seven, which is seventy seven. Seven times seven is forty nine. Um, also could be, I guess, um, November seventh, and what is it? Twenty three plus thirty one would be. 54 days until the end of the year, so the mirror of 45. Also, Doug was created by Jim Jenkins. And Jim Jenkins was born on 8-8-88. I mean, give me a break. He was born in Richmond, Virginia, which is on the 37 and 77 latitude longitude. I mean, just reading here. Richmond is located on the fall line of the James River, 44 miles west of Williamsburg, 66 miles east of Charlottesville, and 98 miles south of Washington, D.C. And 98 is 49 and 49. What do I mean? 66, 44, 98. I mean, it's just weird they even write that in there. Um, I also forgot to mention this 27th episode came out on March 21st, 93, so that actually was 22 years ago, and March 21st adds up to 222. I mean, there's only, I think, five days that actually do that, that add up to 222. I mean, you can go through and look at all these, but there's not a whole lot of, uh, of the same number over and over, so whatever. It was 22 years ago, and 222 is what the day adds up to. Funny, too, as I'm scrolling through here, the 45th episode was actually on November 14th, 1993. And uh, I just talked about in my last video, November 14th, with the Jay-Z song, and uh, it is November 14th is the 318th day of the year and Michael Jordan came out of retirement and the first game that he played where he wore number 45 was March 18th which is 318 oh man it's like it never ends here even February 22nd 1997 uh so 222 two, two, and it was the 76th episode I just did the whole Bill Murray uh, I talked about how Lupercalia and the dog and then the 222 with Bill Murray and then how it was connected to uh, 67 with him also. And 76 is the mirror of 67. And this episode was on 222. Also, when I first started watching this, uh, the first commercial was this Fiber One commercial. And they actually sing, turn around, bright eyes. And uh, whatever, total eclipse of the heart. And I'm not even joking you. I wrote that down today, that song, and I looked it up. Because of the blood moons on uh, four four, and I thought uh, with Valentine's Day, and then it's a total eclipse of the heart. So I looked up that song. I didn't find a whole lot, but very strange that I wrote it down. I mean, and then that is the first commercial that I see whenever I'm watching Doug about Valentine's Day. Just the strangest day ever for me right now. Even funnier that it's a Fiber One 90 commercial, and 90 is 45 and 45. And I didn't have time to go through this, and I'm running out of time. It's only at 15 minutes. But uh, anyway, this song uh, literally came out, the single came out on February 11th, so 2 11 22. But uh, if I, I'll look through here, maybe I'll make a video about it if I uh, find more stuff. I just, like I said, I haven't had the time. But anyway, I'm going to probably watch some Doug videos, probably post them tomorrow. I, I got to go to bed soon. But uh, just a strange day. I mean, everything that's happened in my day, just literally I look it up and it's been everything I've talked about. So whatever. Have a great night. Um, that's all I got to say. Bye.